All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to teach you about arrow functions. Now, before we do that, I want to talk to you guys about a little story. So a few months ago, I was actually working on this awesome program. And what this program did is it calculated the area of a circle. Now, of course, you know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So anytime you need to calculate it, you just throw in the radius. And then what you can do is you can multiply radius squared by pi. So I'm like, all right, so var pi, um, this is equal to 3.14. You know, I don't want to add too many decimal places. I want this thing as inaccurate as possible. And then anytime you want to calculate it, you just return pi multiplied by r. r squared is just r times r. So there you go. Boom roasted. And let me test this baby by console log. And we'll just say seven for the radius and check it out. So I did verify that whenever I wanted to calculate the area of a circle with radius seven, that it was indeed 153.86. Now that was fantastic. My program was working beautifully, but then the new season of Orange is the New Black came out and I'm like, all right, I gotta make a couple more functions and I ain't got time to keep typing this keyword function because I gotta get to my Netflix, you know? So I wish that there was an easier way, a quicker way to write these functions. So I called up the CEO of JavaScript and I'm like, dude, you gotta make um, these functions faster to write. And he's like, all right, Pucky, we'll get on it. So what he did is he made a new kind of syntax and this is what the arrow function is. It's basically a way that you could leave out the keyword function. So instead, what we can do is this. So I'm gonna keep this function just so you guys can see the difference, but I'm gonna name this one, um, let's call it, let's call this one circle area one, and we'll call this new one circle area two. So of course your function needs a name, so I'm gonna set this equal to a variable called circle area two, which is essentially the function's name. And instead of writing the keyword function, write equals, and then throw your parameter right there. Never seen, all right. So where the heck is the function body, this part? Well, this comes after the arrow operator. So this is actually pretty much the same syntax as this, but instead of using the function keyword, your parameters go right after the equal sign, and then you use a fat arrow, and then you have your function body right here. So you can actually do something like that. Pretty awesome, eh? So just to show you guys that this is indeed the same, let me go ahead and print out circle area two and run this bad boy. Pretty awesome, eh? So again, all the arrow function is, is essentially a way that you can write functions without using the keyword function. It's just a little bit cleaner syntax. Now, another thing that I wanna point out is this. With ES6, you really should avoid using the keyword var whenever possible. Now we saw in the last tutorial that we have the keyword let, but pi, it isn't a variable in the sense that we can change its value, that we can manipulate it. It's actually a constant. Now before we didn't have any way of making constants in JavaScript, but now we do using the keyword const. And all this keyword does is whenever you're making a constant, then you should do this because then it ensures that you can't accidentally assign another value. So pi always equals 3.14, right? It never changes. So then later on, if one of my programmers or one of my developers try to change this value, you see that we would have an error right here. And the error would say attempt to assign to a constant variable. So again, anytime you wanna have a variable that's value never changes, go ahead and assign it using the const keyword instead of let. And this is just better syntax and it actually boosts performance a little bit too. So there you go. So this is the new fat arrow syntax. And the reason I call it a fat arrow is because whenever I'm uh, teaching tutorials, you sometimes have this arrow operator, which is minus greater than, and a fat arrow is just what I call equals greater than. And this is just me. I'm not even sure if that's the proper terminology, but fat arrow, there you go. But now I'm looking at this and I'm like, all right, so this is a little bit cleaner syntax, definitely useful, but what if there was an even easier way? What if you could condense this even more? Well, luckily I had the CEO of JavaScript on the phone and he's like, Bucky, you actually can. 
So make a new function called circle area three and set this equal to this. I'm just gonna go ahead and type it and then I'm gonna explain it to you guys. So before I actually show you guys what everything means, let me just go ahead and run this and verify that whatever this crazy new syntax is, it actually works. All right, so all of these little chunks of code, they give us the same result calculate the area of a circle with the radius of seven. Now here's the thing. You know that I said whenever you use this arrow operator, then you pretty much write the name of your function, set it equal to some um, variable, and then after you put your parameters, and then after is the function body. Now, this is the thing. Anytime you only have one parameter that you need to throw in, you don't need to include these little parentheses. All right, so when in, when you only have one parameter, you can just write the parameter right like here. And my parameter was named R. Now the same goes for whenever you are returning a value directly and you don't need multiple statements. So in this line of code, we needed this statement and this statement. So we needed to break it up with curly braces. However, what we can do is we can actually return the value in one statement. So this is essentially the same as writing return and surrounding the entire thing with curly braces. But that's the thing. This is um, an even more shorthand way that whenever you're only using one parameter, you can omit or leave out the parentheses. And whenever you just have one return statement and no other statements or little bits of code in there, then you can actually leave out the return keyword and the curly braces as well. So if you guys see this, syntax you now know what it means this is new es6 syntax for writing functions called the arrow function pretty cool i'll see you guys next time